Hey kids, welcome back. In today's video, we are going on a new kind of adventure. Online, that's right, we're learning how to use the internet the safe and smart way. And we need to follow some rules. So let's go to the classroom. So what is the internet? The internet is like a giant town filled with websites, games, videos, and answers to all kinds of questions. But just like crossing the road, we need to be very careful and follow some smart safety rules. Rule number one, before we go online, we always need to ask a grown up as they can tell us how to be smart explorers in this amazing place. That means things like always asking before we visit a new part of the internet town and never giving out our secret information like your real name or where you live to people you don't know. And always telling a grown up if you see something that makes you feel uncomfortable or worried. Because just like in a real town, while most people are friendly, some aren't. So we need to know how to keep ourselves safe and happy in this incredible internet world. Rule number two, keep your information private. Think of it like your own treasure chest. It's super important to never share your name, your address, which school you go to, or any pictures of yourself with people you don't know online. That's your secret treasure chest and you should keep it tightly locked. Only trusted grown-ups like your parents or loved ones should ever know what's inside your special chest. Rule number three, don't click that. Uh-oh, ho, oh, whoa, a free car. That sounds amazing, right? But hold on. If you see something like this, don't click it. Some ads and pop-ups are tricks. When in doubt, ask for help. Let's use our smart tech brains. Ads might look like fun, but they're often tricks. Some even try to put viruses on your computer or ask for your information. Yikes. If you're not sure what to do, don't click anything. Just ask a grown-up to help. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Remember, if something pops up and it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Be smart. Be safe. And don't let tricky pop-ups fool you. Rule number four, be kind online. When you're online, your words matter. Just like when you're talking to your friends at school or at home, nice messages make people feel happy. A kind word can brighten someone's day, even through a screen. But sometimes people say mean things online that's called cyberbullying and it's never okay. If you see something hurtful or someone's being unkind, don't reply. Just tell a grown up and let them help. The internet is more fun when we all treat each other with kindness and respect. So remember, be friendly, be fair, and always be kind online. Rule number five, talk about what you see. Sometimes when you're on the internet, you might see something weird, scary, or just plain confusing, like a strange pop-up message, a video that doesn't feel right, or a picture that makes you feel uncomfortable. And guess what? That's totally okay. It happens to everyone. The most important thing is to talk to a grown-up you trust, like a parent or a teacher, right away. They can help you figure out what to do next and keep you safe. Remember, you're never alone when you talk about what you see. It's always best to be safe than sorry. Great job, explorers. Now you know how to stay safe online. I have created a PDF guide on internet safety, so please click on the link in the description below. Now we know about internet safety. In my next video, I am going to show you one of the safest internet browsers you can use. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. 
In the meantime, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye for now.